When it comes to breathing, the nose is the only organ in the human body which serves the purpose of conditioning, moistening and regulating breathing volume. The mouth serves no purpose in terms of breathing. Now the habit of breathing is something that we need to consider 24 hours a day. It's not just something inside the studio and it all comes down to breathing in and out through the nose. So in short, a few of the functions of nasal breathing when it comes to physical exercise. One, protects the upper airway. Two, protects the lower airway. Three, harnesses the gas nasal nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is antiviral, it's antibacterial, it helps to redistribute the blood throughout the lungs, and it's also playing a role in terms of increasing oxygen uptake in the blood. Number four, nasal breathing is harnessing greater amplitude of the diaphragm. And the diaphragm, of course, is our main breathing muscle, and it's not just for respiration, but it's also there to provide stabilization for the spine. Number five, when you do physical exercise with your mouth closed, your recovery is much better post physical exercise. Number six, when you do physical exercise with your mouth closed, the fraction of expired oxygen is less, meaning that your body utilizes oxygen more efficiently with nasal breathing. Number six, when you switch from mouth to nose breathing, at first the air hunger can be a little bit strong, but as the weeks pass, the air hunger diminishes. Your breathing now is becoming more efficient and more economical. So when we think of breathing, and if you want to optimize oxygen uptake, if you want to optimize oxygen delivery, if you want to improve functional movement, if you want to protect the upper airways, protect the lower airways, and also for dental health, the nose is where it all begins. Breathing in and out through the nose during rest, during sleep, and during physical exercise.